but Maryam, for example, it starts off with the story of Zakaria, alayhi salam. And he didn't have male offspring. He asked Allah for offspring. And this story is mentioned more than once in the Quran, where Allah Almighty is saying to Zakaria, alayhi salam, after the dua and the supplication was made, that, O oh, Zakaria, we are going to bless you with a child. Amazing. From this we learn that we should continue to supplicate. When you call out to Allah, make dua to him for something. Number one, there's nothing impossible for Allah. Number two is that if Allah has written it for you, he will give you and he will reward you for having called out to him. And if he has not written it for you exactly as you want it, you will still achieve a great reward for the supplication. So call out to Allah Almighty at all times and ask him what you want. Speak to Allah, O oh Allah, bless us with children. Take a look at the dua of Zakaria, alayhi salam. Rabbi habli min ladunka dhurriyatan tayyibatan innaka sami'u dua. O oh my Lord, O oh my Lord, bless me with, grant me, gift me. Give me a gift of what? From you, I would like a gift. Habli min ladunka, from you. Offspring, progeny, dhurriyatan tayyibah, that will be pure and good. Pious, lovely, the coolness of everyone's eyes. Subhanallah. So my brothers and sisters, Allah Almighty tells Zakaria alayhi salam that we are going to bless you with a son and we have named him Yahya. Yahya, in the English language, John. Allah named this particular child and Allah blessed Zakaria in old age with a child. Don't lose hope when it comes to having children.